Um, today we're going to do pecan crusted chicken breast. It's really, really easy. So, um, first thing that you need to do is you need to get you some pecan halves. And even if you get just chopped pecans, you still need to put them in a, you know, you need to chop them up somehow. Now, you can probably do it by hand. I've done that before. Uh, but we kind of want finely ground with just a little bit of chips in it. So, you need to try to get you one of these little things. These are like a mini food processor. And I use this thing for all kinds of stuff. But it comes in real handy for um, chopping up nuts and stuff like that for different recipes. Now, what I want you to do with your breading, which will be your pecans, you're going to add some salt and pepper and you're going to add whatever seasoning you want. And what I've decided to add was the uh, poultry seasoning. But you can do rosemary, thyme, sage, anything like that. So I'm going to put a couple teaspoons in here. And it is messy. And you can get the whole herbs. You do not have to use ground up. That's just what I had at home hand. So we'll put a little bit of pepper in here. cornmeal consistency with a little bit of chunks in it. I was going to chop it up some more, but hopefully it'll be fine. Okay, so let me get a dish with this breading in. Now, I've already got my olive oil hot, and I made me egg wash. There's two eggs and just a little bit of milk. So it's not much. Um, I don't even know how much it is. Probably a quarter of a cup of milk maybe a little less it's just enough to make the eggs where they're not so slimy does that make sense so you don't need much and your egg wash still needs to be kind of yellow if you add too much milk it's going to turn white so i'm going to take my breading mixture i'm going to smell it to make sure that it's and you can even smell the poultry seasoning and to me it's not enough so I'm going to put just a little bit more, sprinkle a little bit more. That's the good thing about it being a powder. I don't have to put it back in the food processor again. Just mix all that in there. Okay. All right. Grease is already hot. Now, typically what I did was I sliced these chicken breasts to where they're a little bit thinner. Let me show you what those look like. Uh, I don't have a meat tenderizer anymore. If I did, I would have beat these flat. So, just keep that in mind when you go to make it. Alright, so, you dip it in the egg wash, you roll it in the pecans, the egg wash helps it all stick, and put it in your grease.
Okay, so I want to tell you that while you're cooking this, be really, really, really careful when you go to flip the, you flip them over. Just carefully, be careful with them. And then once you uh, are ready to pull them out of the pan and put them on a um, paper towel plate or whatever um, to drain them, um, you need also be just be gentle with them because you don't want your breading to come off before you serve it. And what I plan on doing is just taking the pecans that are in here cooking, you know, that fall off the meat. I'm just going to throw them on the plate with the meat too. So. And then I'm going to show you in a little while what I'm going to pair with it, which has actually been in another video. So you can watch me make it, but you'll have to watch the other video to get the recipe. Okay, so I'm going to make a hash brown casserole to go with the chicken and I did this in an earlier video I'll link it below and it's real easy and it's yummy so should have no trouble trying to make it Okay, so this is the finished product. It's the um, pecan crusted chicken breast and of course the hash brown casserole on the side. Real easy, real simple, really yummy. See you next time.